We'll check back with you. Thank you, Shea. It took nearly two decades for SpaceX to make Wednesday's historic manned launch to the International Space Station a reality. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us how Cape Canaveral had to reinvent itself after losing the shuttle program. Cape Canaveral in the 1950s and 60s looks a lot different than it does today, but what they do here is the same. Simplify, aim high. Launch to space. It goes to show you that aviation space defense is still continuing. We're a state and a particular county that's a fundamental part of our economy and also that it hasn't stopped. Linda Weatherman is the president and CEO of the Economic Development Commission of Florida's Space Coast. We first talked to her last summer when we toured the commercial crew pad for United Launch Alliance. The company is still in the testing phase. Five. Four, but could be less than a year away from sending astronauts to space one, on Boeing's Starliner capsule. Off. The rise of Starliner and a new era in human spaceflight. So there's so much history to it. It's a rebirth of bringing the manned space back to, uh, to our country, quite frankly, to our state and to our community. And liftoff of the AEHF-4 mission. Weatherman says the Cape isn't just launching rockets and in the middle of this pandemic, Ariane Supersonic announced a $300 million venture to build their supersonic jets here, creating 675 jobs and major manufacturers are already here. To take risks in order to shape the future. Like Made in Space, pioneers in manufacturing hundreds of tools on orbit using advanced robotics and 3D printing on the International Space Station. We have had a history uh, people come from all over the world uh, in this global market to come and study aerospace engineering and aerospace and satellite technology. If all goes as planned Wednesday, SpaceX will be the first private company to launch astronauts into space. And sometimes that's what it takes to get a country to wake up and go, wait a minute, that was ours. We had it. Let's not lose it again. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.